my guys people need to wake up people need to be smart the number of white people moving from america from the uk from europe to nigeria the number is only increasing it was a pretty good flight got to lagos and had the presidential treatment right from the airport these guys were not joking with the experience they said they will show me nigerian pampering and they did not disappoint now i'm talking about the delboro hotel welcome Today's video is full of awesome tips if you are planning to visit Ghana. These are things you're definitely going to want to know. So let's get started. And we're going to start right here at the STC bus station. One thing you guys don't know is that uh, Cameroon is not eligible for the YouTube partnership program. So for a Cameroonian YouTuber who, who has longer truth and has no talent, you must form an alliance with a country that is under the YouTube partnership program okay so hi guys and i welcome you all again to another youtube video on my channel that is if you're not new if you are new here hi <laughs> my name is lillian and in today's video I, just, I feel like we should have this conversation because chia i told you guys i'm on nigeria right it's my country see it doesn't give me joy to say things that are not sweet about my country the reason i'm doing this is because i'm being forced to do it to understand like a forced marriage when you don't love a guy or maybe you were once in love were once in um, in a relationship for instance you were, you were in a relationship with someone and you loved him or her you were there you pleaded for attention they didn't give or they were busy with other women and then you got tired and said okay you know what i'm going to survive without you you try your best to move on and someone else came your way and you guys clicked so well and it's not like while you left that relationship it's not like you were dragging your ex right you didn't talk about him but you just don't want to talk about him because it reminds you of pain you understand so yeah you're now flaunting your new guy you're talking about your new guy and then people are coming people that used to know you and your ex are coming to tell you oh why are you talking about your new guy like that what about your ex from time to time because you have kissed together give him some accolades and you look around there are no accolades to be given to your guy that is if you are a honest person but just because you have kids together people are forcing you that you must find something good in her in him or her to promote talk about it say he's good at that and you look around and realize that the only thing you can find is the people talking about your ex the people who are clapping for your for your ex even in his new doings with his new relationships is still not doing well so that happened to be the only thing you can find so for me the only thing for now because i'm working on the secondary school videos from nigeria and they are coming i'm working on those videos they will drop when you least expect so don't go nowhere turn on the bell notification and make sure you put it on the last one that says all oh, so that when these videos come yaga yaga you go catch up so for me the only thing i have right now to give is to promote the people to talk about everything that the people that are saying i must promote nigeria are talking about and where do i start from last week there was a video they wanted it to trend at all costs dj pokorichi my bro my Ghanaian brother when they promote Nigerian music well well they try i'm not gonna lie bro i like you just they do your work they go he tried to because he's like he sees the positive in nigeria he looks for them and sees them and bring them out and talk about them mm -hmm. some others too but it's not the case with ajim maxi ajim has his own narrative entirely one thing you guys don't know is that um, cameroon is not eligible for the youtube partnership program so for a cameroonian youtuber who who has longer truth and has no talent you must form an alliance with a country that is under the youtube partnership program <laughs> so that is the ajim strategy i am a youtuber and i'm a youtube tech too i think about youtube growth and stuff if you want to check that out look for me on youtube you'll find me not this channel so the cameroon is not part of it so ajim is serving my people hard for a purpose but you can actually do that without having to make our people fight but now let me just do things like you have been doing 
all right in the name of promoting nigeria let me do that since you guys are forcing me to promote i'm going to start with jackie appears visit to nigeria last week let's take a look at that together that is making nigerians to feel like oh wow <laughs> people are coming i feel like you are lonely let's take a look at that together jackie 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 appear because Oh, this man just bought my video. Who is he, Kira? Oh, let me start again. Come with me to Lagos. So I needed new AirPods because I could not find mine. So I went to the shop to go and get a replacement. Hey, never mind. The price you quoted there. No, I'll look for mine when I come back. It's okay. I ran into Pusha. We're both filming on the same set together. It was a pretty good flight. Got to Lagos and had the presidential treatment right from the airport. These guys were not joking with the experience. They said they would show me Nigerian pampering and they did not disappoint. Now I'm talking about the Delboro Hotel. Yes, they picked me up right from the airport. When I say presidential treatment, I mean full on presidential treatment. Yes. Hmm. The place smells so nice. Wow. My face was on the screens around the hotel to welcome me ah see my excitement yes 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 the staff check the hotel check the service check the whole experience everything was 10 over 10. this place is nice it's definitely the nicest hotel i have seen in nigeria so far yep and look at the living room oh my god just look at the suite it is so beautiful come come look at the room too just look at the room it is amazing hey, and they didn't stop there see the nice touch of customization of the watermelon they said we know who you are and we want to show you a good time all right guys i gotta go bye so auntie jackie is it auntie jackie because i think the last time she talked about her age we may just be maybe like a few years older than me so sister jackie you said this is a hotel the best you have seen in nigeria hey and they didn't come for you thank god you are their favorites what you don't know about nigerians my people is that they love yvonne nelson jackie apia nadia buhari john dumelo prince ose and uh, juliet ibrahim um, van vika magjit mikhail nana ama mac brown has actually directed a, a movie in nigeria back in the days and i cried watching that movie in nigeria she used to be in nigeria like a lot of these our uh, artists in ghana were in nigeria they love them so this homecoming this um thing that everybody want to make sure it trend like nigerians came together to welcome jackie it's not the case a hotel that prince Charles, the prince of england was in when he came to nigeria like it's a big hotel so she this thing they are doing now is not for free they are using jackie to advertise their brand in case you want to doubt me let me play the other one with prince Charles and um his wife megan when they came to, when they were in nigeria Okay, did you see that? Hmm? Did you see? It's not like it's a uh, in case for those who want to who want more, let me play Davido wedding. So after the wedding, the wedding night of Davido, Afrobeats um, superstar, him and Ch uh, Choma, they are supposed to go here. They went here for their honeymoon. These people are advertising for their brand. So I don't know what you are saying. <laughs> So you guys mm, calm down don't act like you are lonely okay nigeria 
Nigerians are very friendly as a matter of fact. Nigerians used to be way more friendly back in the days until this, in this insecurity issue came in and then started to make people become careful. When it comes to kindness and hospitality, we are carefree. I won't lie. Okay. But this is not that. This is a business partnership. Do you understand? Stop acting like Nigerians are lonely. Now, look at what Ajim posted. Ajim said the whole, even Ajim is moving to Nigeria. Isn't it in interesting? Let's take a look at that together. So why are many white people relocating to Nigeria? Yet, they claim Nigeria is not good. My guys, people need to wake up. People need to be smart. The number of white people moving from America, from the UK, from Europe to Nigeria, the number is only increasing. The number is increasing. If I don't tell you, you will not believe. If people don't tell you, you will not believe. You know why? You see, Nigerians are very, very quiet. They know what they brag about. Nigeria don't see white people moving to Nigeria as something to brag about. It's nothing, it's, they, they don't celebrate it. They don't see it as something to be making noise about. That's why they don't care. But it is happening plenty. I mean, I just recently came across one. I'm sorry I cannot play this video here because, my guys, I'm too careful. I don't want Wahala with anybody again, especially when it comes to YouTube Wahala. I cannot play the video, but I came across this white man who is relocating to Nigeria. Relocate, quota, quota. Every day on his TikTok channel, he's talking about Nigeria. He is talking about his experience in Nigeria, celebrating Nigeria, how he loves Nigeria, how he loves Nigerians, what Nigerians are doing. I ask myself, this white man, are you not up to something? What are you doing in Nigeria? Why you have to, excuse, how can you just come to Nigeria and you're busy hyping Nigeria? To me, I, I reason it from a Nigeria point of view. I do not reason it from a Ghana or South Africa point because if I was to reason it from a Ghana point or South Africa point, you know, for Ghanaians, if white people are coming to their country, it means that their country is the best. It means that the white people love their country. It means that it's good for them. You understand? So they will carry the white man up and begin to celebrate. Anyways, not like the man has relocated, but like Ajim said, he said he wanted to do it. Ajim is talking about content creators. There's a, 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 a white, there's a Caucasian woman in the UK doing content about Nigeria. She mimics the Nigerian pigeon. She likes the food, which is cool. Why not? Nigerians are amazing people. I won't lie. Only say inside are good. We get the bad ones when on plenty. Oh well. And the remaining good ones, no woman will talk about those bad ones. Instead, the woman will shut up so that they go to increase, go affect everybody. And I Jim said that he wants to move to Nigeria. I Jim, I promise you, I will raise funds for you. I dare you to move to Nigeria. I will raise funds. I will beg for money from my audience here, then go donate, I go send and come give you. You want a house, three million, go buy a house. When, when, when ritualists, when, when they don't use somebody bury inside there, you don't know, <laughs> say house, 33 million, you like cheap thing. Go to Nigeria. Anyways, I have a shocker for Ajim. Ajim, white people, when they see them in Ghana, they carry them. Not be Ghanaians, they promote white people. Now themselves, they promote Ghana. Take a look at this. Welcome. Today's video is full of awesome tips if you are planning to visit Ghana. These are things you're definitely going to want to know. So let's get started. And we're going to start right here at the STC bus station. STC buses are by far the best and the easiest when you're going between cities. Unless you're using private transportation all through the country, this is the best way to get around. One of the things that makes them great is that they stay pretty much on schedule. If you're scheduled to leave at 8, you'll leave pretty much on time, at least by 8.30 at the latest. And another thing you need to know is that you shouldn't just plan on showing up and buying a ticket same day. That might work for some destinations, but a lot of times you do want to leave one or two days ahead to buy your ticket. And they don't service every destination every day. Even if it seems like it should be a popular uh, spot, like I was in Cape Coast, I thought they'd go to Kumasi every day. Nope, just twice a week. So that's another reason for going ahead of time to get your ticket so that you can uh, plan ahead a little bit in case that's the case. 
However, if an STC bus isn't going to work for you, there are alternatives to getting around Ghana. One would be a minivan or Trotro, great for rides of like three hours or less. And they leave when they're full, but they're not that big, so they fill up pretty quick. So that's one alternate. The other alternative is VIP buses, and they are big and cushy like the STC buses, but they only leave when they're full as well. So if you're trying to take one, definitely take, get there as early as possible, uh, but you could be waiting a while while it fills up. But I definitely recommend STC buses because they are the most efficient and organized available in Ghana. And while, and while I'm at the bus station, let me tell you a little bit about what happens on your bus trip. Whenever the bus comes to a stop, there's a chance that people will be selling you stuff through the windows or come on board the bus and sell you things. This also happens at intersections, especially in Accra, any, any intersection in Ghana. But um, they'll be selling things like plantain chips, hard-boiled eggs, which they put uh, seasoning on, and all sorts of snacks, all sorts of little sundries. And... <laughs> I'm trying not to get hit by a car here. Um, just, if you see something you're interested in, buy it, don't hesitate. Just know that, that there will be snacks of that available along the way. And at pretty much every SPC station, there's also snacks as well. And I just want to let you know that the people here in Ghana are very friendly. And that's the normal, natural setting here. Uh, just because someone's being really friendly does not mean that they're trying to scam you. Okay, uh, you just need to be aware, you know, some people might be trying to sell you something, but on the whole, the people here are just generally very friendly and you don't have to worry about it. That's the way they are. So take the kindness for what it is and just enjoy your stay and your time. Another thing you need to know about Ghana is that they have the right hand rule. When you are eating, you only bring food to your mouth with your right hand. Don't play with me, okay? Achim, can you relate? No, you cannot. Okay, you can't relate. White people are the ones that move freely in Ghana, no security. They enter public moto. So, we try and for Nigeria. Say, we oh, both just go. Escort, no deal. Just go enter moto from Lagos. Can't say they go. You can't even they announce and they make video. Hey, can't say they go. Okay, make a talk say they go my state, for instance. Go enter moto. People see them. Hmm? Can't see them. Enter public motto. Ajim, don't say what you don't know. I understand that you need to form alliance with countries that are eligible for monetization. But man, keep your lives down. And this is why I disrespect your wife so much. I don't know that a woman will be married, a medical doctor would marry a man like you and this is why i call her carry me they go mama carry me they go my husband house because i wouldn't marry a man like a gym trust me you lie so much and your wife is cool with it it be like husband's cast for Cameroon. if not why will she marry you a gym you white people don't have issues with black people stop it you see white people then be the best so when the dead tell you nigeria is bad have you ever talked about what some nigerians do abroad the ones that the bad ones have you talked about it to address it you always want to clash people head together Achim, how many times did i call you don't play eh? you see this season i go use you where we do i go i go use you to content you understand you see that content strategy we go drum together any day when i get chance i go do content for your head thunder fire you okay bye to do